Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, most of you would have seen the videos of a gang of uh, West Yorkshire police arresting an autistic girl for the crime of uh, mentioning that one of them resembled her lesbian nan. Uh, Ten million people have seen it, so, so I'm sure you probably have. Now, West Yorkshire police took a, a lot of righteous criticism over their Maoist action, and there is still a lot of uh, real anger about the policewoman in general. Uh, but this video is not about her, uh, it's about the corruption of the police at the very top. Now, for starters, uh, anyone wishing to join uh, West Yorkshire Police, God knows why, uh, must first be vetted by an American diversity, equality and inclusion outfit called Olio. And here is a short clip about them. As a diversity and inclusion expert, you know how essential hiring a diverse, equitable, and inclusive workforce is to your company's success. We know that diverse workforces are more profitable. 36% are more likely to outperform their competitors, and inclusive teams are the most innovative. Olio Benchmarking helps you to understand how your recruitment efforts stand up against industry standards and set targets for areas of improvement. Secondly, uh, the entire police force in Britain operates under the guidance of the College of Policing, uh, which has this following example of a homophobic hate crime. Quote, uh, John was sworn at and threatened that he would be punched in the face by an attacker who moved toward him in an aggressive manner. Nothing was said about his sexual orientation, but he perceives he was targeted as he's openly gay and there was no other reason why he was chosen. Uh, he reports this to the police, who should correctly record this as a hate crime based on sexual orientation." Uh, end quote. And the College of Policing also states, uh, quote, for recording purposes, the perception of the victim or any other person is the defining factor uh, in determining whether an incident is a hate incident or in recognising the hostility element of a hate crime. The victim does not have to uh, justify or provide evidence of their belief and police officers or staff should not directly challenge this perception. Evidence of the hostility is not required for an incident or a crime to be recorded as a hate crime or a hate incident." Uh, end quote. OK, <laughs> how does the College of Police, Policing and the Crown Prosecution Service describe hostility? Uh, they say, quote, "...in the absence of a precise legal definition of hostility, uh, consideration should be given to ordinary dictionary definitions which include ill will, ill feeling, spite, contempt, prejudice and unfriendliness." Uh, end quote. Which basically means uh, anyone can be guilty of a crime in Britain if they are unfriendly toward a protective class of person, which is not, of course, someone like me. And finally, in a bid to out dystopia uh, Orwell's 1984, the College of Policing states, quote, targets that see success as reducing hate crime are not appropriate as they can be discouraging to staff and are unlikely to motivate managers to promote positive recording. An area that achieves an 8% rise in recorded hate crime is likely to be attributable to positive policing and partnership responses, uh, end quote. You might have to replay that two or three times to truly understand the insanity of what they're saying. And now all of the above essential totalitarianism explains exactly why so many young police officers in Britain are utterly unsuited to such a career. And as I say, the rot starts at the very top. And one wonders how many good uh, decent, big, strong men failed the recruitment process on day one in order that this wretched creature could be fast-tracked through in order to criminally persecute autistic children. Well, that's my take on it. I'm back on Twitter, by the way. There's a link below in the box, along with my Patreon account, if anyone wants to support me there. And also in the box are links to the various things I've mentioned in this video.